Tonight we are getting our first look at the 13-year-old girl who was found dead in her Rockland home. Her picture captured in a yearbook picture that was taken a few years ago. We are also learning more about the relationship between the girl and a 14-year-old boy being detained in connection with her death. The homicide happened yesterday on Monument Springs Road. CBS 13's Kelly Ryan is live at police headquarters in Rockland tonight with the very latest. Kelly. Police tell us the two were siblings and that it was the mother who arrived home to find her daughter's body. They were starting to like be a lot of cop cars and some other cars coming, and I was wondering what's all the commotion about. And I... Rockland resident Tyler Wynn was at home Tuesday morning when he learned there had been a murder next door. It was very shocking to me. Today, Rockland police released the name of that victim, 13-year-old Ashley Wood, seen in this yearbook photo a few years ago. Police say they were called out to this home in the 6700 block of Monument Springs Drive just before 11 a.m. Tuesday after they received several 911 calls from neighbors. Now we know the victim's mother arrived home shortly thereafter. She discovered the the victim and we believe a lot of the screaming actually was from her. After arriving on scene, police say they learned that the 14-year-old suspect, who they describe as a sibling, had run off immediately after the crime. We ended up finding him about a mile away in a greenbelt area. That boy was arrested and has been taken to juvenile hall in Auburn. CBS 13 has learned victim Ashley Wood was a student at Sierra Elementary. The district says she left in 2013. It says it is providing mental health resources to staff and family. Police say they are investigating just what went on inside the home before Ashley was killed. Well, there was trauma to the head and the actual weapon that was used, we're not releasing that. Police have called in the Department of Justice to help investigate, they say, for transparency. Neighbors have told CBS 13 the home is owned by Jeffrey Ronald Wood, who works in the Placer County DA's office. That office would only say it is not working on the case and referred us to Rockland Police. Police tell us they have yet to sit down and talk to the parents. They say they are just too traumatized to talk to investigators right now. Yeah, there's a lot yet to learn on this case, oh, on the, this terrible case. All right, Kelly, thanks very much for that.